So in this video we'll be looking at how we can use Python to create variables and use them in our program. Now in Python to create a variable you would simply type in the variable name followed by an equal sign and your value. So in this case I'm going to have a variable called age and I'm going to have a value of 22. Now what this basically does is puts the number 22 inside this age variable. So whenever we want to call 22, we can simply just do a print statement and just say age, and you have the value 22. So after we've assigned a value into a variable, so in this case 22 in age, we can always change it to some other value. So we can say that the age is now 18, and if you print it, we get 18. So we aren't restricted to data types as well. That is, if a variable has an integer then doesn't mean we have to from now on put everything as an integer we could just simply have a string by saying hi I am 55 years old and if we print this we get our string now with variables we can hold many things other than just strings and numbers so let me go ahead and write down all the separate things that we can store inside a variable right so we have a string, we have numbers, and we have some other kind of data types. So we'll be going through each one of these, but let's let's start from the top. So we have our string, we have something, and we have stored that inside a variable called string. Then we have an integer, 256, which is inside this integer variable. By the way, you don't have to actually call it in integer when it's an integer and string when it's a string. You could simply even say integer string or XYZ or whatever. Really it doesn't matter what you name it as long as it's meaningful. So in this case I've just named it string just to say that okay well there's a string inside of this variable. So we have a floating point which is the same as a decimal and we have a none type which is a special kind of data type in Python which basically signifies nothing. Now we have a boolean which is either true or false so this can be even true and we can have an empty string uh, it's not meant to be false it's meant to be like that now let's go ahead and print these and see what we get so let me just comment these for now so if you do a print string and then let me go copy these then we have our integer floating point, uh, none type, boolean, and our uh, empty string. So now when we run it, as you can see, we have something, which is this, and then we have our 256, then we have 25.6 as the floating point, and then we have our none type, which basically just says none, and we have our true, which is the boolean, and we have our empty string. Now, Usually when you're programming Python and you want to just create a variable without anything in it, so just something as so just as a temporary variable, you would either have it as an empty string or a none type. So that's some of the things we can store in variables. Now let's take a look at what other things we can do with variables. So here I've done something interesting. I've said x and y equals to 2 and 3. And in Python, you can have many variables so long as you have the same number of values corresponding to the number of variables. So in this case, if I do x, y, and z, and then I do print x, y, z, we get an error saying not enough values to unpack. Basically, that's saying you have said three variables, but you have only given two values. So to solve that problem, you can just do that. And you have two three and five that's with that now we have some other interesting things we can do so as you can see here I have two strings and I have a variable called both which adds the string plus other string together if you go ahead and run this you print both and as you can see we get hello world so you can have the same thing here with numbers as well so print new sum and we get 53 because 10 plus 33 is 43 and in here is 43 
and then we create a new variable called new sum which has 43 plus 10 which is 53 so now that we know how to use variables there are some pointers that you might want to keep in mind when you're dealing with variables so let's say we have a variable called num and it has 23 and we have another variable called num2 equals 33 now the difference between these two is that this variable has an integer number which is 23 and this variable here has a string representation of 33 so if you go ahead and do sum equals num plus num2 and then we go print sum we get an error saying that it's unsupported right now this is going back to our previous videos I believe it was one of the very first videos where when we are adding something we have to make sure that it's the same data type and that the operation we are doing is supported between the two data types so in this case we can't add a string and an integer that doesn't work but we can add the string and a string together and we get 2333 3, 3. now if I take away the quotes and then we run the program we get 56 so this stuff right here is the equivalent of this so we have a print statement and we can do 23 plus 33 and we would get 56 right here previously when we had it like this basically it's storing the string number string representation of 23 inside here so it looks something like this and you can't do that in Python because well basically says can't convert int so that's saying you can't you can't convert the string into an integer and do the operation which is add these two numbers together so to solve this problem we can have the int function basically this just converts the string representation 23 into the integer and now if we run the program we get 56 so the one other thing I forgot to mention previously is that let's say we were dealing with variables again so I have a variable called age which is 34 and then I create another variable called age which is 55 now Python lets you have the variable with the same name so even if you have an age variable you can have another one with age as its name and then I go ahead and create another one so this is 44 now what happens is initially you create a variable called 34 sorry you create a variable called age and then you store the value 34 inside it and then once Python skips this line that is it runs this line it comes here there's nothing here then it comes here then Python realizes that there's already a variable called age and it simply updates the value so once it's here age is no longer 34 but it's 55 and then comes down here nothing there oh look another variable updates the value so now we have 44 and if we print it we should get 44 so that's just something to remember when it comes to dealing with variables it's a pretty common mistake sometimes even I do it I just forget that I have a variable called that name and then realize that the program isn't running properly because I'm getting a value that I'm not supposed to be getting anyway in the next video we'll take a look at sequences to create some basic programs in Python